so let's see okay I'll start with my basic win con so the first win con for Aero she's basically going to create these like these like swords made out of like compressed air like very dense air and she's gonna charge at uh, Ang and try and slash him so I'll drop you some scans alright Alright. Alright, where are you dropping them? Oh, uh, oh, I'll tag you. Hang on. Oh, okay, I've got it. It's alright. Oh, okay. Yeah, in section one. Make a blade from air. Is it like, okay. Yeah, it's like sharp, dense air. Just like air manipulation. Okay, so, um... <clears throat> you know when she's using this? Yeah. Is it like... Do, you know, does she just run across the floor? Or run across the floor? Yeah, like run, like run at you with the blades. Yeah, she can run or fly at you. Uh... Actually, no, it doesn't run. Okay, so I just... Okay, so just shit her. <sighs> so, when she does it... Yeah. Like, has she just, you know, made the... Basically, you know, made the air denser? Yeah, like, yeah. So she uses the air manipulation and makes, like, these blades, like, made out of air really dense, like, sharp. Um, okay. As you can see with, like, the scan that I posted, like... As she says, like, I can make a blade from the air within the edge thin enough to find the fissures. So, like, it's sharp enough to, like, get through, like, pressure points and stuff. So, like, basically in that fight with those crystal golems, she was having, like, trouble trying to break through their durability. So she, like, used her air manipulation to make them so sharp so she can, like, pinpoint where, like, the fissure points are. And then she basically, like, sloshed them in those weak areas. Okay, so are you, uh, um, look at, well, obviously look at us before, you know when you said she either flies or runs? Yeah. Obviously, you know, she can't do both, so. Can't do both, yeah. Oh, alright, well, alright. I'll start with, I'll start with running then. Okay, so. Yeah, she's gonna run at you. Um, obviously before I drop this, y you know, you've seen some of the scans before. Mm-hmm. Um, do you, like... Like, I think... You want me to still man some of them? Because I remember... I do remember some of them. Okay, so... The... So she's running. Um, yeah. Seismic sense. Um, and Ang would just be able to, like... Uh, catch her... Mid-step. With, um... Earthbending. Yeah. Actually, let me get... I'll get a better scan of that. Okay. Uh, which I've got four fights on YouTube now. Yeah, you could just post it anyway, but I I probably won't be able to play it. Because they'll be after my ass, fucking dun, 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 yeah, dumbass company. All right, so um, if you just click the video in the Discord app, it should <coughs> play from the timestamp. Yeah, cool. Also, I need to ask while you watch it. Yeah. How? Okay. So, have you watched Avatar? When I was young, very long time ago, very vague okay. memories of Avatar. Um. So, you know, in a lot of uh, Eastern-based, uh, you know, like anime manga, there's obviously the concept of you know life energy key. Uh, Nen, mm -hmm. Ratsu, shit like that. Uh, 
Avatar has chi. Um, yeah. And that's how, like, they're able to, like, you know, lightning bending. Yeah, lightning bending, yeah. Um, that's how the, that's how, like, firebenders are able to produce fire and lightning, because they use the energy, the chi inside of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, and that's just how, like, bending is used. Okay. Anyway. Um, does Aero have anything like that? And if so, does it correlate to how she generates her powers kind of thing? Um, before I answer your question, what was the timestamp? Because I kind of lost it, I think. Oh, it's 10.33. 10.33. Thank you. Bear in mind, Angin this has his eyes closed and he's not even looking at um, Ozai. Yeah. Okay, so your question was, what was it again? Sorry. So, I'm asking, <clears throat> when she, her, are her, you know, are her powers like? Does she use them based? Do they correlate like life energy? Does she have any like sort of life energy? Mm. And if so, do they correlate with the use of her powers? I don't know. Like she doesn't use chi or anything. It's just air manip. Okay. Uh. Hmm. I mean, that's fine. Yeah, that's all right. Okay. So, like, so is your counter like seismic sense, like being being able to sense me and stuff? Yeah. All right. Well, my counter to that is her own form of like sensing. So, like, she has okay. like, it's kind of like she has like kind of like her own like heightened basically kind of like seismic, seismic sense but it's like precog in a sense so basically the air is her eyes and ears so any disturbance okay. in like the sound or like the air she can like she can like she could basically know what's going on without having to look like i can get you some scans so basically there was a guy that some thug he was trying to rob her and he knew his exact actions through his movements and she knew she was getting robbed and then there was when she was on a date with her boyfriend this, she knew exactly like hang on let me read that scan where is it uh she says but i can see his violin with my air currents before he strikes the first note and she was and she wasn't even looking at this uh, the dude who's going to play the violin uh i can drop those real quick for you though and she can yes. also she can also sense chi as well and she can also hear heartbeats and vibrations like those like those like um what are they call crystal go golems there's a crystal tower and it's like a very very small vibration like n like no human could hear she was able to hear it uh, i can get you some scans though okay and she can also hear she can also like know when people are hiding around like objects because like uh while the c air currents are like running like through the area uh, she can know if people are inside or hiding in objects or like hiding behind buildings or like underground and stuff But yeah, let me just get that for you real quick I'm trying to look for a statement. Mm -hmm. Don't have. And she can also hear like cracking and like movements of your joints. So like she can interpret your feelings and your intent based on your like like your joint movements from the sounds you make from your muscles. Like when like when she was on a date with her boyfriend, um, he started cracking his knuckles. Because, and then she was like, oh god, he's cracking his knuckles, He he's nervous, sort of thing. And then she can also interpret objects that are hidden from sight just by the sound of, or like feeling, like using the air currents to like feel the type of material, so she knows what it is. Like, he had a, he had a, a wedding ring in his pocket, and because of the air currents, it told her what it was. But um, yeah, I, I got these scans, let me just drop them in uh, this thread. 
no, not thread, uh, the uh, section one. And then I'll get the vibration feet as well. I'm missing that scan, just a sec. Okay. Alright. Uh, let me pop the knuckles back in. Cheese up there. Just have to let that breath out of that breath in some relief. Okay, and got something similar to this as well. Okay. Um, hold on, let me get it. Uh. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, hang on. Hang yeah, I, di oh. I didn't post the robber scan. I forgot. Do you want to post that as well? Uh, but I mean, if you want it, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let me get that because, like, because she was gonna just let him off, but like her boyfriend, like, caught his ass and uh, just let it happen. But like, yeah, um, I, I got that scan now. I'll just drop that. See, so, yeah, like this dude sneaks up behind her grabs the phone and she knew without having to look thanks to the air currents being messed with but basically being disturbed yeah um so like i said angus just that's pretty much the same thing um, yeah so i'm pretty sure i've showed you this before but i'll just go through it again if you click on that so this guy called combustion man um and pretty much like fire bends with his mind uh ang and soccer were just like walking through this town and they weren't even looking and the only reason Aang knew he was going to attack was because when he like lo went to load up he like inhaled through his nostrils and Aang just like sensed the change in the air currents I remember this yeah yeah that's fine I, m I remember this see I think we're probably neck and neck with like sensing and like trying to like yeah yeah um so so yeah, like I, like I, I, I know you. I don't know. I know you haven't argued it or anything. But like I just say, like if you try to like trap her in like that rock bending, she would know that you were gonna do it, and she would evade and keep the pressure. Um. Okay. So wait. No, I'm just saying. I'm, I never said you made the claim or anything. I'm just saying, like, if you did try to argue it, I'm just saying, like, I've proven like she would be able to like get around like. Anything that Ang tries to do from a distance. Um. Okay. So the problem with that is, is like, uh, so standard battle assumptions is like no knowledge on for either participant on the opposite. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Like she's not gonna know the Earth. Like, can she sense changes in the Earth? Well, well, because there's movements from the ground, and obviously, you know the air is being disturbed and such, she would be able to know it. She'd precog it. And even as, like, 
I've demonstrated through the scan, like, there's this robber, she didn't know, like, well, she knew that she, she was getting robbed, and she didn't even see, so, like, say, like, you tried to do, like, the whole earthbending shebang, she would send, she would basically, the air would tell her, okay, there's a, a threat from the floor, and she'd know before it happens, and she would dodge, thanks to the air. Okay, that's, I wouldn't call that, is, hold on. I'm just saying, like, even if she didn't know, she would still be able to, like, like, say, like, she didn't know about you or anything, obviously standard assumptions, battle assumptions, She's, she would sense the danger before okay. it even happens. Alright, yeah, that's fine. Um, so, she's just gonna, like, launch Ang and try and, um, slice him up with these, uh, like, swords. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so I'll just argue that Ang would go straight into the Avatar state and I can like prove he'd do that um in character. So where is he? So um so this is obviously standard battle assumptions again, um it's in character willing to kill. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Zuko this is like post um like animated series, Avatar. It's um <clears throat> the comics afterwards, and Ang, basically Zuko made this promise. He was like, uh, made Ang made this promise. He was like, yeah, if I ever become like my dad, uh, kill me. Uh, and Ang pulled up because he heard that Zuko was kind of going against what they agreed upon uh, from a political sense. Yeah. And Zu they basically started fighting, and Ang was just like straight away. He was just like, yeah, mate, uh, you know. Avatar Roku, who he spoke to um, spiritually, was also like, yeah, you should um, keep up that promise, basically. So he was like, yeah, maybe Roku was right. Uh, promise is a promise. And he went straight. And I can, like, get you another scan as well of basically when it came to the Earth Kingdom versus the Fire Nation, mm -hmm. again, um, later on in that uh, storyline, and basically went into the Avatar state as seen when he fought Ozai. So that, you know, the orb... Uh, the uh, the disc of fire, the disc of water, and the rocks. Yeah, uh, I'll get the get that real quick. Hold on. Okay. Actually, I think this might be a better scan, actually. Yeah, so hear me. Look, this is another scan of him going to the Avatar state. Hmm, okay. God. I'm not even sure this is the same issue. Sorry this is taking so long. God, look. No worries. I'm reading, no worries. I'm reading for the issues, like, right now. Um, like, currently. Um, so I'm getting all the scans. Mm -hmm. but I don't actually have the one I'm talking about. Okay, yeah, here it is. So basically, um, Roku's in the fort, like, the background, sorry. Mm. You know, uh, from a spirit perspective, like, telling, uh, um, like, Ang to, you know, keep the promise. Okay. Uh... And another one as well, I think. Oh, that's, no, that's it. Oh, actually, yeah, there is. And 
So, basically, there was this spirit called um, Old Iron. Uh, and... Well, Ang's notorious for because of his, you know, he follows up the philosophies and culture of the Air Nomads, which he, like, descends from. Yeah. Uh, and they're, they're basically pacifists. Mm -hmm. uh, and even in the uh, official... Um, what's it called? Like, art book with like, the create statement from the creators. Like, yeah, we made Ang to pretty much be help to beat anyone. It's just that he holds back all the time. Uh, so this was even this was without intent to kill. Actually, where is it? Yeah, and he made basically went to the Avatar state, made that same, you know, used the same shit, and he just basically made the got this golem just you know to. Uh, try and fight on equal grounds instead of like just completely overpowered because we see later that Ang just one shots him because mm -hmm. um, he gets pissed off. Also, <laughs> here's just another one just for more. Um, I remember this. Even, yeah. Um, like to stop the Fire Nation just and F Kingdom from fighting, Ang just goes into have a and just pushes the. Um, basically, that's a whole ass town, but on the side Zuko's on. Yeah, that's fine. I accept that. I accept yeah. that he would go into his avatar state okay. in character. That's fine. So, now, you know, I'm not going to rat and say he's just going to summon water from anywhere. Because mm. um, obviously, you know, that can't happen. But we know that there's a statement in... Oh God, this Because that's the statement I was on about that I'm looking for. Um, from Oiro. Because this is from a new book that came out called Legacy of the Fire Nation. And it's for, basically written... From Iroh's perspective, in verse. Hmm. Um, bear in mind, Iroh's seen the bending capabilities of um, Ang, Katara, Zuko, Azula, and Ozoi, and Toph, sorry. Uh, and he says that Katara is second only to Ang in bending, like in terms of being a powerful bender. Yeah. Uh, so that would, you know basically make Ang a better waterbender than Katara. And we see, we actually see in season one that he's um, just a better waterbender, like, in general. Like, he's just a prodigy at it, that he can pick it up easily. But mm. that's pretty much most um, avatars. It's just, obviously, that the element that's opposite to their um, native one is that they struggle with. Yeah. Um, <sighs> listen, I can't li I can't find the statement of Katara, like him being a better, like just him being the Avatar, like in the Avatar state, should just be proof enough. But I want to substantiate that claim to the fullest. I just can't find it because I don't have the book. But some guy reviewed it and like he reads out the passages from it, and I can't find um, the verbatim section. Mm. Um, are you willing to accept that? You don't have to. Yeah, I don't mind. I'll still man it. That's fine. Okay, so. Okay, so you're in the Avatar state. So what? What? What's yeah. your game? Oh, what, all right. So we got. So like I said, Ang would be able to draw water because when he enters the Avatar state and enters that specific, like does that shit with the sphere and that. Yeah. He like draws water around fr from around him. Mm -hmm. Um, and obviously him being a more skilled waterbender than Katara, um, who's better than ha Hama, who's able to like literally just rip water out from plants, and I can get you that those guns. Yeah, sure. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so... She literally just, like... Um, it's time stamped again. She just takes the moisture out of the air, basically. Draws the moisture out of the air, and she draws it out of plants. We know Katara's a better waterbender because, like, when it comes to the blood bending, Katara just like overpowers her, um, completely with it. Hmm. Even though she, even though here herself is like the first blood bender, like Hammer herself's the first blood bender we know of. Um, uh, and by the when Ang draws the water, he condenses it, um, which is kind of breaking the laws of physics, but whatever. Um, like, he carries that ring around him, and that is condensing the water. Okay. So he has more than it looks like, if that makes any sense. Hmm. Okay. Um, 
Hold on, I'll try and get a scanner back, actually. Alright, I'll play the scene on my phone, because obviously I can't. Yeah. Watch it on laptop. Trying to find the part where he goes avatar stage for the first time. Is this just like the whole clip, or is it like just a timestamp? Or is it uh, it's just a, it's just a, a timestamp. Yeah. Okay. Also, when he goes um, Avatar State, he creates like this huge, just gust of wind that was just, um, just fucking up Ozo. Bear in mind, Ozo is actually amped at this time by Sozin's Comet. Mm -hmm. um, and there's so. Yeah. He was amped. I'm, I'm not gonna like try and quantify it. Mm. That, yeah. Anyway, so there's this like he summons like a huge. Uh, if you wanna, okay. So the exact frame where you see him lift the water up is about seven twenty three twenty four. And I have time stamped it there, but in case you wanna pause it, and he does like draw a very big body of water out okay. from the ocean, and then he just condenses it into this smaller ring. Mm -hmm. Seven. All right. So he'd have a, he'd have a lot, um, like a a lot of water is um, disposable despite obviously um, what it looks like. Um, so using that, I'd just say. <coughs> um, hold on. Where is he? Okay, yeah, I'd say him. Um, he'd just like uh, freeze him, freezer, sorry. Okay. So... I mean, this, this, this was a lot of build up for something just like, yeah, yeah. just got a freezer. Sorry. So, like, uh, okay. Uh, sorry for everyone listening. Um, Here's the gif. Now, this is like, I'm not saying, you know, he's going to create like a river's worth of water. Oh, that's obviously not what's in the clip. Mm -hmm. um, I'm just saying, like, he has the capability of freezing, and he has done so, so I'm just saying he would do that. Okay. All right. Um, actually, current, yeah, you go, go ahead. All right, well, so when he freezes, does he have to, like, basically use the, the air, like, the molecules and stuff, like, to freeze me? Like, using, uh, his, using his bending, of course. What, what do you mean? Like, because... Like, you have to move. Yeah, like, kind of he has to move, like... You know, like how airbenders, they have to move their arms and stuff, yeah? Uh, yeah, he'd have to move. Alright, and how would this, like, freeze me, if you don't mind me asking? Like, how, like, how is this, like, performed throughout, like, action? Like, is it just, like, am I turning to ice? Is my body, like... Oh, yeah, the water would just, like, turn to ice. So as soon as it touches him, you just turn it to ice. Alright. So well... he can, he can, he's not, like... He has to make separate movements to freeze it. Like if he like just shot water at you, as soon as it touched it, he could freeze it. Um mm -hmm. and I'll get you that. Okay. Oh, yeah, sure. So he like just basically just raises some water and freezes it in the same same motion because obviously one of his hands is um trapped. Okay. All right then. Well, my counter to that is she'd just protect herself with the wind. She'd basically rip through it. Okay. Yeah, I'll drop that scan. As you can see, like her whirlwind is just ripping the water, the ties from the water away. So yeah, she'd protect herself from that. 
Okay. Yeah, that's that's fine. Um Let me see. All right, so So obviously Aang is like now just in this like condensed like air bubble basically. Okay. Um that's the air's like passively rotating as well mm -hmm. while it's around him. Um I'm just like curious as to how Aero would look counter that. Well cancel out the uh, the condensed air shield. Yeah. Okay. Um let me let me have a look. Let me see what I got. Well, she all right. Well, she just condensed the air and crush you with your pressure. I'll drop you, scan. Um. So in the avatar state, uh, Ang has like all the experience and skill like knowledge basically of the elements from all of his past lives mm -hmm. um now i'll get you the scan uh and roku basically saying you know i've mastered the elements a thousand times in a thousand different lifetimes someone did the math uh there's not like if like you know if it was a thousand lifetimes all the avatars would live to about all the previous avatars sorry would have lived to about the average age of nine um so obviously that's not true mm. but so i'm gonna go off because there's a, also a scene earlier in the series where there's just a room full of statues and they're all the previous avatars Ow. uh I don't know, let me see and someone did count them all okay uh, and there was like okay Yeah, so this that's the um, count, and I'll get the statement from what's his name, fucking Roku. Actually, I think he states this multiple times. So, because Ang, like, in the same clip, he's, like, in the uncontrolled Avatar state, because it's mm. a, um, season one. And Roku, like, basically, you know, takes him out of his uh, physical form and talks to him about the Avatar state. And it's, like, verbatim says that the Avatar state is a defense mechanism um, that's, again, created to empower the Avatar uh, with these skills and abilities of all the past Avatars before them. Mm -hmm. um, and that same uh, that clip I sent earlier of sorry oh yeah so when Ang's in that state in the avatar state when he's got that condensed bubble around him yeah he doesn't have to like bend it it's just it's just like he doesn't disperse which would give the indication that he that he still has control of it um and that he doesn't have to, you know, make the movements to keep it intact. So I'd argue that, um, and because like added, obviously the added uh, skill um, experience. Mm. Like how? Like, oh, sorry, let me ask. It's a bit rude of me. Before I get into this, like what kind? Like how? How many years of skill does? Uh, um, skill. Uh... All right, let me see what I got for that. If not, I'll just have to just leave that because I don't. I'm I'm not hundred percent sure if I can quantify it, but I'll I'll do my best. Let's see what I got. Okay.
Yeah, um, but just to clarify, do you get what I'm getting at here? Like, um, because he doesn't have to move to control it, um, to control the yeah. air, sorry, specifically. And that's what you're arguing, she's going to condense and crush it. I'd say that the skill gap um, is just so big between, because a- Angie is like prominently an airbender as well. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'd just say like, he's just basically 100 years of mastery in the Avatar state. Uh, would just grant him superior skill and knowledge of the element compared to Aero, and he'd be able to just, um, just make it basically. Hmm, let me see what I got. But I got a question, but like, how would that like protect him from like being crushed? Like, even if it's like, there's like, a, like a, an, or say for example, like, there's like an inexperience, like, gap or like skill gap, like, she's still crushing you. It's like, all right, I'll give an example. Okay, so... it's, it's like, say for example, say like you give like a shotgun to a kid. And the kid, like, he's stupid, doesn't know how to aim it, but he can still fire it. It's like, it's still going to hurt you, in a sense. So, like, I don't understand, like, how skill would, like, protect Aang from being crushed. Like, she can, even if, like, she doesn't have, like, like, years and years of, like, s- like experience with, like, her, like, air manipulation, she still demonstrates that she can use this to her fullest, like how she did it to those crystal golems, which basically gang-raped her. And she did it on the fly as well, because she was gonna basically get, uh, Christoph- She was basically gonna get crushed and crushed in basically into bits because they were trying to cr- crush her and in, into pieces. Was it? Hold on, I'm looking at this scan. Was this on like one? Or I can compress the other. Yeah, because she was fighting these golems and they're all bum rushing her, and then. At the last minute, uh, I'll get you... Let me get you the full scan so you can understand the context more. And then... This was while she, she was she was having a phone call and she was fighting these dudes. And then she was even able to neg them during this phone call. Okay, so... Um, but I can... I'll get you the scan just a sec. She's saying, oh, she's just saying she can compress the air sorry, as much as possible and then release. Yeah. So like, okay, so... And they were like... So in that scan... Where she's saying she can compress them. Were they, or that, is that, like, those, that was, like, that ice, were yeah, they around her then? Yeah, they were, like, she was outnumbered. Like, I can count, like, I can give you a bunch of, like, okay. yeah, she was, like, gang, like, so, yeah. So, like, I jumps. don't think, this, I don't think this is what you think it is. I think, I don't think this is, like, her literally compressing the air and crushing someone. This is, like, her condensing the air and then, like, shooting it outwards because it's so condensed and there's so much it acts as an explosion hence why like in the second scan and she says release all the all the golems are being shot outward wait what say that again okay so oh okay so let me just you know clarify if we're on the same page yeah in those okay the last last two scans you posted yeah yeah all right so that first one she's saying i can com- uh, compress the surrounding air as much as possible and then uh release so in that first scan, sorry, second to last scan that you posted, mm-hmm. that that ice structure are those the golems? Yeah, they're all like surrounding her. Yeah, that energy, that white energy that's shooting out, is that the air that's being condensed yeah. or compressed? Or like compressed, okay, yeah. yeah. That second scan, um, where she's literally you just see a speech ball like pointing mm-hmm. towards where it's condensed the air. Yeah, and you see the golems that are like being shot outward mm-hmm. um i mean you literally see the air currents like shooting outwards yeah yeah i don't think that's her using that's her like creating an explosion yeah but like i under yeah I don't, I don't, she doesn't use it like in character on some like she doesn't like crush someone with the air around them no, but like, she, like if you the air and then shoots it back out of them yeah but like if you look at the scan you can see the golems are cracking they're cracking under pressure. Do you see, like, the, the, the cracks? It's not like she created, like... It's not like she covered herself in air and then pushed them back. They were getting crushed by this pressure. Yeah, I'd say that's because they're, like, really close. Because they're, like, they're in, basically, the... Oh, what's the word? And plus, like, since I'd be close enough to you, I would be able to do this at this point. I, okay, they're in, like, yeah. the ground zero of the explosion. 
Um, so they're in like the center of where the air is being compressed. So that um, so that like their ice like ice um ice structure is being crushed mm-hmm. under the pressure. I don't think Ang would like get this close for this to happen. Bear in mind, like in the avatar in the avatar state that I'm arguing that he just flies around. Um, and like in, like you've all, you you even said yourself like, this happens when she gets she's getting jumped by multiple people. Well, yeah. Um, like, he's, not, he's not getting jumped by multiple people, and I'm not arguing like Ang's using like multiple attacks on her at once. So I don't see why she would use this, especially in the context that you're arguing that she does use in as well. Well, yeah. Well, well, she was being smart about it. It's like a quick thinking sort of situation. So she was actually like outsmarting these golems. But like, okay. But like, we can. So, all right. Sorry. Go ahead. Can you show me you're doing this in a one v one? No, I can't because that's this is the only sh- like this is like it's basically one feat she's shown like this is like a new feat. Okay. Um. I an analogy. I mean, I don't think I need an. I, I, you know, I don't think I need an analogy for this. I, I think you can I mean, see what I'm trying to. Yeah, say. I, I, yeah, that's fine. But I'm. Um. I, that's fine. But I'm still gonna argue she would do it. Plus, like, since you're like pretty much a big a big threat at this point since you're in your avatar state i don't see why she wouldn't plus she was in danger in that situation it's not, it's not like she was just fighting one goal and be like all right well he's fodder like because she didn't do it against one golem because she thought the golem was trash that's why she was when she struggled to get through its durability through her normal like ap her normal punches she's like all right well i need to use my air minute and then obviously once okay. once the pressure started once she was truly in danger that's when she started to resort to more serious tactics so in this situation since ang isn't in his base form is in his uh, awakened state he's a serious threat would you agree yeah i'd agree but i wouldn't say that she'd know that because again it's like no knowledge yeah but like since but obviously like since you did argue like he he tried to like freeze her in place and shit like that would and I did counter it, like, that would come off as dangerous at this point, and a threat. Yeah, so like, she's encountered, like, beings of ice before, like, in this scan, yeah? And you said yourself just that the one golem by themselves were fodder. Yeah. and that, So that one, one ice will attack, and you even said that she just sliced through it, so she'd still be under the mindset of, yeah, this guy's, you know, he's not much of a threat at the moment. Yeah, I did. Yeah, so... What I'm saying is, is that she wouldn't be under the mindset of shit. I'm in a life or death situation now. Yeah, sure. She, you know, both of them are obviously under the impression that they're willing to. I mean, sorry, under the mentality that they're willing to kill. But she's not in that situation um, where she's like life or death kind of thing. And this is the that the context of that scan is. Um, well, that is the context of that scan that you posted. Sorry. Hang on. Let me go. And, check. Like, look, Sorry, um, what was she saying? Uh, obviously, I'm just going to say this again. What I've argued so far is, and, you know, you've refuted it pretty easily, that mm. she hasn't been put in a life or death situation. Um. Hello. 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 Oh shit! Oh. Hang on. Do you say something? No, 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 no. I was, no, I was no, like, no. I was like, why is it so, bruh? Yeah, sorry, I was. I wasn't talking. Um, sorry. What What was you saying? Because like, I didn't. Hear oh yeah. So, okay. So I was saying that because she's not in a life and death situation at this moment, and she's not under the mentality that she's in a life and death situation, that she wouldn't resort to this. Um this attack basically because you yourself even said you know she was basically getting rushed um, yeah uh yeah and she even says that you know so heavy they're trying to drag me down i mean i could drop another scan to kind of back up that she would at that point think you're you're a big threat after doing like that stuff um hang on uh, let me let me go and post it like even when like when she struggled against like one of them and once like two of them started showing up she started to realize like okay the- these dudes are actually 
trying to get on top of me and that's when she was trying to like push them off her and then that's when she was like okay these dudes are actually surrounding me in this in this ball this is actually getting really dangerous and that's when she did it i mean we can just leave this point to the judges but like yeah, yeah. That, that's just that's just my final uh thoughts and what i'm gonna drop for that okay wait sorry what did you say about the last scan that she was Sorry. Yeah, like, you're like, all right, so like, basically, so let me go and, oh, let me go and find that scan for you real quick, because there's another scan I should give you more context on. So once, um, she like, punched, like, she punched like, uh, the, the golem, and she thought it was fodder, she was, and while she was on the phone call to, um, her mom, I think it was, or her boyfriend. I think it was her boyfriend um she even she was like what like i can't i can't break through them and then here's another scan she's like hang on let me let me look at this scan so i can actually see on the screen she gets hit by this golem and then she hits back and then this no, the other golem grabs her she's like oh no i need to actually disperse this shit and she used her wind minute to push her to push them off but once she, she started to realize they were gang they were gaining in numbers and they're actually becoming more of a threat that's when she used her her like air condensing shit okay so you oh all right so, so you just said that she used it once they were becoming more of a threat yeah and that's what Which i was saying implied, yeah so that implies to me that um that once the threat increases then what it is then she'll use it and that's fine but like i said at this moment from what i've argued i don't think the threat is that big enough for this point to go through okay well that's fine then we can i'm that's fine then i'm more than happy to leave this to the judges but that's fine yeah all right um all right so i'll just ask do you have any do you have another wink on um let me let me go check real quick Uh, let's see what else I've got. No, I don't. I don't have any. I'm. I'm all spent. I've got nothing else for her. She's pretty one-dimensional. Okay. Do you have anything? So. Uh yeah, so the obviously you know um <clears throat> when Ang's in that avatar state, he basically has the four fundamental elements around him. Yeah. Um, and part of those are like condensed rocks. Well, yeah, yeah, they're just like condensed rocks. Um, and uh, he was able to like when uh follow those, I was just trying to dip. He pretty much manipulated the uh the rocks. And like, basically splintered them off into like dozens and dozens of like shards. Mm -hmm. I'll just send you the self-explanatory. Yeah, sure. I'll, I'll check it out on my uh, phone. Oh, so he's firing these rocks like pellets, like bullets. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, I've got, well, hmm, well, I'd just argue that because of her air current, she'd know where they'd be fired at her, and she'd ba basically dodge them, and she can fly, and plus she, she has windshields, so she'd just put up a windshield and block those, uh, block, like, the rock pellets. Uh, I can drop you some scans. Okay. And another thing as well, she just used the wind to just uh, blow them away. Because, again, like, her, like, control with the wind is pretty good. She can just control air minute with just her, her, her mind and her thoughts alone. 
So yeah, those are the scans. And then obviously the uh, let me drop that. Um, oh, where is it? Let me drop that. Sh the I'll just find it. Okay. Sorry if they're small because like I, like I have to take print screen so it looks smaller than normal. But yeah. Yeah. They are a bit small, but it's, yeah. it's fine. I can read them. Uh, like, she creates this, like, big, massive tornado, like, air shield, and then she can just basically make them go and, like, she just blow blow the rocks away. They get caught in the the, the tornado sort of thing, thingamajig. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Okay. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much all I have, because, like, uh, yeah, okay, so the reason I, I did ask about the, uh, oh, yeah, um, the, yeah, go the ahead, sorry, earlier, oh, no, I was sorry, go ahead, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you, I was just that's saying, good. like, like, because I heard some of what you were saying, like, I know you was trying to, like, argue, like, the, uh, like, she wouldn't do it straight away, the whole crushing thing, and another thing, yeah. I I kind of got mind hacked, so like I was kind of a little bit silent at the same time, so I didn't hear all of the things you said. But yeah, I was just I just wanted to throw that in there. But what were you going to say? Okay, so the reason I this is an argument. I'm just I'm basically saying yeah, I've got no more win cons like you. Uh, but obviously before we get to this, the reason I asked for about the chiefing, um, all oh, right, and like if it correlated and if she did have it, if it correlated with her use of her powers. I just would have argued that Aang would have took away her ability to use her powers, but obviously that point doesn't matter, so... Oh, fair enough. Yeah, I just wanted to, obviously, the debate's ended now, so it's okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, do you want to just go judges? Um, or... Yeah. Alright. So, um, no conclusions, or are you just going to judges? I mean, uh, I, I don't mind. I mean, it's, it's whatever. I don't really say, honestly, when, like, I don't really, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Okay, I'll just, um, judge first. Um, first uh, of all, first of all, um, this is a really good debate. It was pretty close, really close, actually. So, okay, I'm gonna start with the top. Now, for this, I need to ask for us a question. Um, for the air blades, right? Were you arguing, were you arguing, were you trying to argue, because I was talking with Tegain in commentary about this, were you arguing that these blades, like, negated their ability? I was gonna, but I didn't get to that point, so I didn't mention it. Okay, okay, I thought so. Okay, so I guess... Fuck, I even forgot about the, that, but never mind, continue. Yeah, I guess, okay, I guess the blades, I guess that could be used? Wait, um, Chad, what was your counter to the blades again? Fuck, I can't remember to be honest. I think it was okay. seismic oh, sense. Oh, yeah, seismic oh, yeah, sense, sense. Okay. Uh, this, okay. His ability to, like, uh... Sense changes in the air. Okay, wait, so like, do you agree that like these like blades would like hurt your character, Chad? Because like, I just want to know right quick. Oh yeah, simple step. Okay, cool. Okay, so now we move on to the seismic sense precog thing. Um, I, I, I mean, I think it was pretty much a draw because like they both kind of did the same thing. Like Forrest is one with like the violin, where he's able to like detect like this person was doing a violin she wasn't even looking at him and it says like before he strikes the first note and like obviously chad briskly said the same thing with like the seismic sense and he brought up combustion man how he was able to like detect combustion man was there and move it was like before combustion man even attacked so um it's like it seemed to me what i can tell is that like forest is one was a bit more like versatile but from what I can tell, in terms of like what, in terms of like potency of kind of like precognitive ability, it was kind of even for me. So I'm just gonna, so I'm just gonna say on that piece they drawed, um, Avatar State, um, Chad, yeah, Chad proved why he would use why Aang would go into the Avatar State right away. So I'm gonna give the thing to him. Um, what was another point? 
And yeah, you also brought up the water and the oh, you brought up like freezing, I believe. Yeah, you brought up freezing. And like um, quick, uh, quick, quick, quick thing I, I have to say, I don't understand why Chad took thirty years to get to the freezing thing, <laughs> but that's just that's just a personal thing. I wanted to give listen. I wanted to give substance to the Avatar. Bro, story. listen, you just just said, oh, my point is freezing. Then go on the whole tirade. We were we were like waiting thirty years just for that. But anyway, that's just like a personal okay, thing. Okay, okay. Back, back okay. to the back to the debate. <laughs> um, okay, for the freezing thing, Forrest was arguing. I remember Forrest argued like the wind pressure thing would break out of the ice or it wouldn't or like the ice wouldn't touch him. Now Forrest correct me if that's if I'm wrong, but that's what I remember you saying for that. Kinda of close. I argued that she just used the wind and just ripped the ice to shreds. Oh yeah, okay. So I think the ice would be ripped to shreds. So also oh now the other point that you brought up would um, was the condent was the condensing thing. Now, this is probably, like, the most contentious part of the debate. It'd be like, I understand where both of you are coming from. Like, I see Chad's argument of with the whole, oh, like, they were, like, combined together, then it says release, so it was, like, spreading outward. So I, so I, so I had a face, so I favored Chad on that for a second. Then Force mentioned, like, oh, they were, like, breaking while, so, like, breaking. So how I feel, like, so hearing both sides of that, my view of that is that, Y'all were both right in a sense because Chad was right when it says it was like dispersing outward. But when Forrest mentioned how they were like being damaged by it, his crushing thing would still apply. Now, you might disagree with me on this, but that's what I think. So I have to give the crushing thing to um Forrest. And um the experience thing. Um It's okay, we can debate that in a sec. Oh my god. Okay. Hold on now. Let me just finish this first. Anyway. Um, I'm joking, but <laughs> wait, was that a reference to Isk? To what Isk to Gary? Is that a reference? Uh, I mean, that's definitely no, a reference. No, no, because Isk was probably serious. <laughs> anyway, okay. Um, not for this, not for this, not for the experience thing. Um, now originally I was favoring Chad heavily for this part, but then Forrest, brought, then I think Forrest brought up is when like, well, I think he was talking about like actual application. And what the, and what the things can do, and it was saying like the like the experience thing wouldn't stop you being so crushed. So I would agree with that. No, there was one other point. No, that was the experience thing. And then like um, and then like oh, we also brought up the rock thing. Then Forrest brought up the air shields. I agree, so and like you pretty much agreed that the rock thing would have been countered by like the air pressure and the shield. So ultimately, I have to give like. Three when not three. I'm almost it. I gave the the head like force has the blade thing, and he has the crushing thing. So I would give this to Forrest, like extremely high diff, because because like I was going back and forth in my mind like must like huh, like at least a hundred times lowballed. So I give this to Forrest extreme diff. So that's my judgment. Anyone else want to judge? Uh, I can go if y'all want. For sure, skinny. Okay, so basically, my thing is the same as Forrest. I thought, or not, dang it, the same as Debater. I thought it was a really good debate overall. Uh, while I was walking through the woods and looking for crawfish, Forrest said, and I quote, they were gang raping her, and that made me scream out loud, audibly, <laughs> oh, what the heck. But um, yes, that was a nice little shock. Um, yeah, but uh, in terms of the debate, really good. Uh, I pretty much have to agree with everything debater said though um high diff for forest one thing i did want to bring up was when i brought up the sword thing uh the exact wording yeah. that Forrest used was like she was having trouble getting through their durability and then she pulled out that blade and started slicing him so i think that would be at least some degree of durability negation and i looked yeah. at the scans and force agreed that. that like he wasn't really arguing that so yeah i figured i'd bring it up either way no, I'm not adding that to the judgment, but overall, yeah, same as the baiter, Forest High Diff. Uh, Carnifex victim, do you want to judge? Okay, so for my judgment, basically what they said, very good debate. The um, so one thing I actually wanted to bring up was something that even that Carnifex brought up inside the that he brought up was with the whole 
almost um, almost being frozen to death isn't a life or death situation. And then how you guys left that point to judges. I actually do agree that Forrest's character will actually use that in that type of situation. Because, you know, being frozen, you know, that's basically, you know, being frozen, that's, that's kind of like a life or death situation. So I just wanted to bring that up. And I do give that point actually to Forrest. And I actually do agree with Skinny and Debater about um, Forrest winning this with very high difficulty. So, so like no one else, no one else here can judge. So, I guess the verdict is forest high difficulty. Good debate, guys. That was really good. Thank you, yeah. Chad. Oh, yeah.